2019. And it has been a wonderful finale, hasn't it? We have with us here, concluding LFW, the spectacular launch of lensing Echo Vero by the designers Abraham and Thakur. And we have with us here Mr. Avinash Mane, the commercial head South Asia for lensing AG. So if we could begin with you telling us a little bit about this collaboration in the association and how it came about. Yeah, um, what, a, what a show it was, uh, wonderful. And um, uh, thank you very much and uh, to um, uh, ANT team, IMG team, um, Athia uh, for uh, being here, for uh, putting all these efforts together for this wonderful show. Uh, with Kurta 2, we are uh, excited to introduce our uh, sustainable and uh, eco-responsible viscose brand, Lensing EcoVero. And uh, with overwhelming response for uh, our flagship brand, Tencel, in past couple of seasons, now uh, we are realizing that sustainability is not just a buzzword, but it's really getting practiced by all the retailers and brands here in India. Uh, ANT, known name in the Indian fashion industry, uh, they have used uh, uh, traditional hand block uh, method of printing for this collection. At the same time, uh, curry technique, which also minimizes the use of fabric. Uh, fabric wastage is minimized for creating this collection. So this also adding to the sustainability. Lensing is always um, uh, keen in making uh, a collection or showcasing something which can be easily adopted to the Indian consumer. That is where this concept of kurta is, is like best. And we are looking forward to getting this into the Indian consumer space at, as fast as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. If we can now hear from the designers, your thoughts on the collaboration, on showcasing your work at LACME Fashion Week on Sustainability Day, and on an important occasion like LACME Fashion Week turning 20. Well, it's actually, it's an honor. And uh, we're very pleased with this collaboration because our brand has always been very conscious about um, sustainability. We've been concerned with issues like that. We've always worked with traditional craft and hand loom. And we are very excited also by this particular fiber because the whole process, as you know, and its footprint is really very, very small in consideration to what's happening in the world. And as I was just telling Atiya just now, we're all living in a time right now where there's no water in Chennai. We can't breathe in Delhi in the winter. This is our reality today. So I think it's fantastic that we have this opportunity to have something to say about it. Absolutely. Hmm. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, demonstration of your creativity and your consciousness in the wonderful clothes you've created. Thank you very much. Would you have something to add to that? <laughs> I knew you would do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Atia, do you think we should still hand him the mic or do you want to take over? I think I'll, I'll fill in for him. Please do. Um, I actually feel extremely honored and privileged to be a part of this movement because I genuinely think this is a movement. Um, I think, I know we're all spreading awareness through Instagram and social media, but I feel like education is the root to these problems. I think people need to be aware to spread awareness, and that's what we're trying to do in our small little way. Um, I think the collection is beautiful. Um, it was something that I wear, the type of clothes and silhouettes that I wear, and I love the sari that I'm wearing today. Mm. Because it's um, a sari, and I think we kind of forget now um, the importance and um, how traditional and beautiful a sari is on an Indian woman. So yeah, I was super excited to be a part of this. So thank you thank for letting you. me. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I'm going to open the floor to questions. Okay. And before we break for the evening, I, would, I think they definitely want more pictures of all of yeah, you, yeah. so we'll <laughs> do that. But do we have any questions that anyone would like to ask? <coughs> Inspired by the kurta, been inspired by the kurta, and we've taken that silhouette which runs through from a long uh, silhouette to a shorter one as well. Which actually, the, uh, the blouse she's wearing is technically also based on the kurta. So, what are the fabrics you have? Which can you elaborate about? Uh, the fabrics that well, we have we're using um, Ecovero. I mean, this is the fabric that we're working with because we're collaborating with them, which is a, an incredible fabric. As you can see, it falls extremely well, and it is also of technology which is really state-of-the-art. 
I mean, it really is, you know, because in terms of its environmental footprint, it is extraordinary. And then we wanted to bring in something, which is something as modern as this, we wanted to bring in something that's really old, hand block printing. The entire collection has been hand block printed. And as you know, hand block printing is the oldest way of decorating textiles. We have found traces in Mohenjo-daro, so that like, gives you an idea that this has been around for a long time. And it's a living tradition in India. So it's a very important part of our philosophy that sustainability is not just about the pollution and environment, but for us in India, sustainability is maintaining traditional livelihoods in the traditional environment. We don't think it's necessary that everybody leaves the village and comes running to the f big city to get a job. And this is a part of that effort. So, Hans, have we are in your views? Hans. No, you want my views, her views? Yeah. We're thrilled. <laughs> Absolutely. We're thrilled. I mean, look at her. Absolutely. I mean, we could, just yes. so, we could have got Robert. We could have had a better advertisement for EcoVero, for A&T, for block printing, for sustainability. Yeah. And she's wearing the sari. I mean, she also represents a generation, a generation. which I think is getting in more and more engaged with what's been happening in India. And it is changing. So I think this is right. really the face of today, you know. So I'm very pleased. The, the dots? Yeah. Well, you see, we had a lot of dots in the clothes, as you can see also. Yeah. The idea being that when you, when you block print by hand with a wood block, you can print any way you want. There's no repeat, because every block is done by the human, by the craftsperson. So if you want to print just a line, or you want to print, so it's a freedom which you don't get on the machine, because nothing gets repeated. So that, in a sense, inspired the dot, and then that further in turn inspired the makeup. And we wanted to bring that whole thing through because it sort of demonstrates uh, the ingenuity of hand block printing. There was a lot of purpose section also. Yes. Did you tell us more about that? Because the saris had it and the We actually printed all the fabric, even the base fabric. So if we'd see like plain black, it was black on black. If it was white, it was white on white. white. We were trying to create additional le a level of texture and to also make it look a little crafty because we like crafty. <laughs> and uh, the leaf really was also actually, it's a symbol of, it's really a sort of theme that's running through all our collections this season and is connected very much to the fact that Ecovero is a viscose fiber which comes from wood pulp, which comes from trees, so therefore leaves. Okay, what about your fashion statements, style mantra? Your style fashion mantra. statements, style <laughs> Um, I think it's really important to be comfortable in what you're wearing at the end of the day. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I just feel like you should have fun with fashion. I don't believe in fashion for pas. I've made many mistakes myself, but I don't consider them mistakes if you're confident. Um, so yeah, I think you should not take it too seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously. Just have fun with what you're wearing. Perfect. I think this evening we've witnessed the, like, the, one of the most perfect marriages between innovation <laughs> and tradition. And on someone our generation really looks up yeah. to and wants to emulate fashion-wise. So I think this is a perfect, uh, a perfect harmony. And on that note, thank you everyone for joining us for LACME thank Fashion you. Week Sustainability Day. We're going to do a few more pictures with you all and then yeah. break in for interviews yeah, individually. Right yes, absolutely. Right thank you. Yeah, we can have you standing up for them, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> Sir. Uh, no care, please, everyone. Stand up. Sorry. Excuse me. Okay, yeah. Sir, I'm going to go. Sir, sir. Excuse me, sir. Thank you.